problem. Another kind of common problem is like a Dalton's over water, which I'm not going to do an example of, but you can check that out uh, to see how to do that kind of problem. Uh, let's say you mix two gases. Let's say they're xenon and neon. Okay, so we're going to mix those two gases. And let's say I have 10 liters on the left. I'm not going to worry about sig figs right now. I'll just write some stuff out. Uh, and let's say you have 20 liters on the right. And let's say this, uh, the temperature for everything is just going to be 0 degrees C. And let's see. And let's say the pressure in this container is 2 atm and the pressure in this container is 1 atm okay what i'm going to do is going to ask you for the partial pressures of xenon and neon after mixing and i'm also so i'm going to open this valve here and let them mix in just a second and the other thing i want to know is what's the total pressure after mixing okay so how would you set this kind of problem up well the first thing i would do is go to moles so we can start with xenon doesn't matter where you start and you're going to use the ideal gas law. Solve for N, that's PV over RT. And now you're going to plug in everything. So this is the moles of xenon really before mixing, because now we can just isolate on it. So that will be the partial, or the pressure of xenon, two atmospheres. The volume is 10 liters. R, because we're using the ideal gas law, this is the only point we're going to use this 0.08206 R. Otherwise, we'll always use the other R. And then 0 plus 273 is 273 Kelvin for the temperature. And this will be the moles of, and I'll put an XE on the bottom, moles of xenon. Now let's do the moles, uh, what is for neon, the moles of neon. Again, it will be PV over RT. We just have different numbers now. 1 ATM. We have 20 liters. We have R is still 0.08206, and then we have 273. Okay, that'll get me the moles of neon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two numbers up and get the total moles, which would be the sum of the moles of xenon and the moles of neon. Okay? So I just use the ideal gas. I've got the total moles. I still haven't got to the partial pressure yet. Uh, but for, before I get to the partial pressure, it's easy just to do the total pressure next. So P total is going to be N total RT over V total, which is just the ideal gas law solving for pressure. So after mixing, we can determine the total pressure because we know the total moles. I just calculated that. R is still 0.08206. Uh, T is still 273 Kelvin, and V total is now the sum of those two volumes, so 10 plus 20, which would now be 30 uh, liters, okay? And whatever that number ends up being is P total, uh, or the total pressure. So you can actually calculate that, and then what, when you're ready for the partial pressures, the partial pressure of A, I'm manipulating this equation right here, is the mole fraction of A times the total pressure, and the mole fraction is the moles of A over the moles, total moles, times P total. So I have the moles of, so let's say I wanted P uh, of xenon, it would be the moles of xenon over the total moles times the total pressure. Okay, so the moles of xenon is going to be this number right here. The total moles is going to be this number right here. And P total will be this number right here. And so you can plug that in on your own and figure that out. Uh, and then if you wanted the moles of neon, it's just the total pressure minus the, m uh, not the moles. If you want the partial pressure of neon, it's total pressure minus the moles of xenon. And I'm just using this equation right here to be able to solve for that.